Hi, I'm Jane Wilson, and today I'm going to be giving you some tips about how to make a cleanser for the kitchen out of products that you have just lying around the house. This is half full of water, and I am going to add a little bit of lemon juice. Now make sure it's lemon juice and not lemonade, because it's not a great idea to clean a kitchen with a whole bunch of sugar, right? Um, and then we're going to add a little bit of dishwashing liquid. We put that right on in there. And then we're gonna add a little bit of ammonia, which has got a very pungent smell. Um, do yourself a favor and make sure you're not adding bleach or a comet or anything like that to ammonia because that can create a little bit of a, a vapor that goes in the air. And you know, we found my Aunt Flossie just passed out on the bathroom floor from that vapor. So you don't want that to happen to you. Um, and that is a beautiful homemade cleanser. And normally, I scrub things down with this scrubber brush in my kitchen sink. Um, Earl Sr. told me that this year he is going to be buying me uh, one of those electronic scrubber brushes for the kitchen for my birthday present. So that's a, that's a fun present for me to have for my birthday. And, um, you know, I asked uh, Earl Jr. if he'd help me clean the kitchen today. And he told me to die and go to hell. So I guess I'm just going to be doing this all by myself. Spray it down. Spray, spray, spray. And we're just going to kind of let that soak in. And then in a couple minutes, I'll scrub it down and clear it all away with some hot water. And we'll have a nice, shiny kitchen sink. Earl Sr. says that that's the best way to start a day. With a, with a nice, shiny kitchen sink. He encourages me to do that. I'm Jane Wilson. And this has been... Cleaning Tips with Jane Wilson.